Welcome back to my channel guys and today in this video I am going to talk about widgets in filament. At the core a widget is nothing but a live wire component that you can create and display inside your filament application. Now there are definitely quite a few niceties that you get with filament but overall I think the most important thing to understand is the capabilities with a widget whatever you can do with live wire the same thing applies inside a filament component rather widget so let's get started so inside my terminal i will create a new widget so php artisan filament widget and let's create two widgets and what we will try to do is show this on the top section of the student page one widget will be student attendance widget something like that okay and resource you need to mention the resource um, it will be student resource all right now what does the message say successfully created that widget make sure to register the widget in student resource get widgets and then again in these two functions of any student page what are the different files that we got let's quickly check if i go inside my apps filament resources folder inside the student resource i have a new folder called widgets and this is where the widget class got created all right i think that is the reason why we need to mention the resource with which the you know the filament widget is linked and inside the resources folder views filament and then we have this resource student resource widgets and this is the blade file you can now understand that basically this is the in the live wire term this is my live wire view file as rather the class file and this is the view file now let's see if I'm able to understand how Livewire is coming over here. So the widget extends widget, which is a filament thing. And it has quite a few properties. For example, I can see there is the view, there is call span, get sort and stuff like that, which is fine. And what is this component? So this component is from Livewire and hence, our widget that we created does have all the abilities which are being given here in this abstract component class. Fair enough. Let's close this out. We are not going to work with that as of now. But then it mentioned I need to register the widget in the student resource get widgets. Okay. Why don't I open up the student resource? Oops. Okay, I have table. I have my form. Let me minimize them. So there is no function by default, which is fine. Let's see if I can get that one. Get widgets. Okay, it returns an array. I can do that. So our widget name is student attendance widget like so. With this, will we see any change in the student resource? No, we haven't seen anything as of now. Let me just add a few things. Um, maybe a P tag, a strong tag. Attendance, uh, I don't know, I'm just doing some basic stuff haven't thought through the components thing but yeah this is what ideally should be visible it says it said there is a spelling mistake d a yeah <laughs> sorry all right now how do we display this we added this line over here which is get widgets but i don't see that making any impact however what I know we can do is the page which we have for the view inside student 
edit student right in here i do have a method called let's search for the widget again so we have two one is get footer widget columns and there will be one more which is get header widgets column um, header widgets rather okay so which basically means we are able or we can show the widget on the header or in the footer why don't we choose this again it expects an array so we can do student attendance widget like so and in here if i refresh i see my widget coming over here now this page is divided into two columns so it has taken the first half and if i want is there some column thing which i can you know kind of pa, pa, pa. i think there was uh, one uh, okay i i will not get that in the edit record page but it should be somewhere in my widget because i saw the widget has a protected property called call span and that means i can do call span equals with this in place can you see it spans the two columns it's a protected property so we can you know override it where we want to but by default what i understand is it's one and that's exactly what i want so this is fine now i just want to show you that we can add one more and for that maybe i'll do um, student what um, we already have an attendance certificate cert widget maybe it's for the same resource so with that in place again this time let me not register this here and see if i can just go to this page and do student cert widget class i'll open up this as well and the blade file right this is the certificate widget component okay let's just say something like this and now i can see two widgets over here in the edit page if i do get footer widgets and save then you will certainly see that is visible below so that is how at least we can control certain aspects of the page and if you want something very custom then obviously you can create a page and ensure that your resource or that particular page is actually showing that view instead of the default one but yeah for now i think this is fine now as i said these widgets are basically live wire components so which basically means that um where is my blade file this is the one let me open it up right if i have a button which is add let me add a few classes uh, rounded border okay and maybe px4 py2 with this i should have i should see a button over here okay uh, now inside my live wire component if i do public int dollar count equals zero a very basic thing i'm not showing anything major you know very cool in here this is something which you will even find in the laravel live wire documentation okay so i just have increment count as a method and i'll do this count plus plus now i can basically call that function i had a spelling mistake so uh, wire click like so and why don't we show the count 
hit save add and can you see this thing is working right and one small little thing now i am in the context of this particular user right which is professor abigail moore what if i want this model inside my widget well i can do that you see what i would do is public this model may not be there so i'll just do a question mark and set it to null by default and now because this is a public property that variable should be available to me inside my blade file so we can do dollar record name i know it can have a null value but i am not doing that consideration as of now but as you can see if i go to any student that name is visible inside the widget and that's the most important thing i am able to reference the current model whether it is inside the view or somewhere else this data is available as a model object and i can play around with it so yes this is what i wanted to cover inside a widget widgets are nice little components which you can create and you know sprinkle around in your application if you have something very custom to work with and yeah gives us a lot of flexibility so that's widget for you inside filament let me know what you feel about this if you like this video then do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel